In a completely randomized design experiment, at a significance level of 5% with a balanced design, i.e. all the treatment sample sizes are the same, the F statistic turns out to be 2.29, which has a p-value of 0.1769 or 17.69%. What multiple comparison procedures should be used? So, first thing you want to do is to ask yourself, did we reject the null hypothesis? Because we should only use a multiple comparison procedure when we have rejected the null hypothesis. Recall that the null hypothesis says that all the means are equal, right? So it doesn't tell us how many means are here, but you know, basically in the problem, the statement for the null hypothesis is that what? All the means are equal to one another, right? So all the K treatment means are the same. That's the null hypothesis. We run our hypothesis test against that idea, right? We try to see if this idea is true, and we either reject it or we do not reject it. Now, if we don't reject it, so in other words, we let it stand. In other words, we don't reject it. We're basically saying it's okay. We should leave it alone, let it stand as if it was true. Then if we believe this to be true, then there'd be no reason to do a multiple comparison procedure, right? Because why do you have to compare things that are all the same? There's no point in that, right? If you know they're all the same or believe they're all the same, there's no reason to bother trying to compare them individually to see which ones are different. That's what multiple comparison procedures do, right? They try to see which means are different from one another significantly. But of course, if we're saying that HO is true, we're basically saying they're all the same. So there's no need to do a multiple comparison procedure. So the first thing you want to check to see if you're trying to answer this question is, did we reject the null hypothesis? Because if we didn't, we should not be using the multiple comparison procedure. All right, so what, how do we know based on the information if we rejected the null hypothesis? Well, compare P and alpha, right? Remember, p has to be smaller than alpha to reject the null hypothesis. Well, your p-value here is 17.69%, while alpha is only 5%. This means that p is greater than alpha. So our conclusion is, do not reject HO. Remember, small p's are the ones that get it, allow us to reject the null hypothesis, not p's that are larger than alpha. So if we say do not reject HO, then there's no need, no need for a multiple comparison procedure. So no need for a multiple comparison procedure. And at this point, the question is, you know, what multiple comparison procedure should be used? You would say none. None of them should be used.